at Templehof Field. Taking the U6 train to Templehof on the weekend, Gabby has come to see the old airport. At one time, this was the busiest airport in the world. That was during the Berlin airlift. She knows about this because her grandfather Rudy had been in the US Air Force during the airlift. She'd heard the stories many times. But now, no longer an airport, Templehof is a park where people fly kites and have picnics. Gabby imagines Rudy as the handsome flyboy he once must have been, looking dashing and a bit dangerous in his leather flying jacket and cocked cap, and piloting a heavily loaded DC-3 into land with less than a minute between planes. The roar of engines and smell of avgas hanging heavy in the air. There'd be trucks coming and going, hauling much-needed supplies to the West Berliners. Gabby climbs the stairs to a low observation deck. From here, she sees a couple in their twenties approaching. The woman is on crutches. Her legs are deformed. She's attractive, with long blonde hair, carefully made up face, uh, stylish clothes and a ready smile. Her boyfriend walks patiently beside her, no hint of frustration at the slow pace. They stop nearby, close enough for Gabby to see, but not to hear. Soon, a second woman approaches from the direction of the U-Bahn. The man utters a childlike cry of joy and runs over and hugs her. It's the kind of hug you give an old friend you haven't seen for a long time. The girlfriend is caught up in the moment too, and for that moment she seems to forget that her legs don't work and tries to run after, only to stumble. She's frustrated and envious now. Perhaps there is some despair in that downward gaze, but then her demeanour brightens with practised optimism. A few minutes later, they're joined by another couple, and then someone rides in on a bicycle, pretending to lose control and careers into the group with comical uproar. The party has started. There are bro-hugs all round and back-slapping. It seems that this is a reunion of school friends, maybe ten years after. And at the edge of the group, Disengaged stands the woman on crutches, a fixed grin on her face. Gabby's heart goes out to her. 